Thank you very much for joining us today at India M2M and Forum. We are pleased to have Smart 24-7 as an exhibitor at the forum and your kind self join us as our esteemed speaker at the forum. May I request you to please briefly introduce yourself and your association with Smart 24-7 please. My name is CP Singh, I am founder to uh, Smart Group. Uh, within Smart Group we are incubating uh, new technologies and uh, uh, we have several business lines in Smart Group. Uh, one of the business line is into solutioning business where we uh, take uh, products from various companies and create a solution for our end customer depending upon what technology he wants to use. Uh, another business basically we are uh, having a mobile based platform where we are providing safety and security to all the Indian citizens and all the corporates. Uh, that solution is being very much uh, uh, anti accepted by the uh, industry. We are already live in 10 cities and uh, uh, we are giving solutions for employee transport management to companies like uh, IOG, Make My Trip, Concentrix, IBM Dutch, so these are things. And uh, we have another venture where we are innovating product made in India, product designed and developed by uh, us itself and uh, uh, for the uh, typical home uh, automation to be done in India. Uh, so we are trying to create a product which is very much affordable and uh, has all the flexibilities that our Indian consumer is looking for. So that's basically what we are doing. So. A lot is being said and done about the M2M and IoT space, especially when you talk about the Indian context. What is your take on it? And what do you think the industry has in store for the future? So our personal experience has been uh, really very good uh, in the M2M space. Uh, uh, our business like Smart 24x7, uh, it's a mobile-based platform which basically enables police, fire and ambulance to provide a very good uh, response uh, to the Indian citizens whenever they are in distress. Uh, uh, within a uh, short duration of one year, we are live in 10 cities uh, and the police is paying for the services, which is uh, a phenomena I, I have never ever seen in Indian uh, context because uh, generally all these things basically go from a very lengthy tendering process and all those things. Uh, uh, but uh, everyone is liking the, the technology that we have developed. Uh, the corporates are taking it, uh, th that was the need of the industry. Uh, so from that perspective, I think a lot is happening and a lot needs to be done. Uh, and uh, uh, things are moving in the, in the right direction, uh, what we can say. Uh, yes, definitely there is a room of improvement, uh, which, which will happen from the government uh, perspective by creating the right kind of guidelines. And uh, uh, the, the, the kind of uh, response that we are getting for our uh, hardware as well as the software uh, is phenomenally very good. Uh, so we are very much satisfied uh, with the way the things are working out. You've given us an insight about your views about the M2M and IoT ecosystem in India. What potential do you think the sector holds for domestic as well as international players? There's a huge potential for uh, IoT, M2M, uh, but there is, uh, uh, I'm a very strong believer that uh, the solutions that will fly in India will come from India itself. Uh, because India is a very price sensitive market. So what sells in, in, uh, in US or Europe for $5 uh, would probably be selling in India for 50 cents. So that is the kind of price gap that we have with US, uh, the developed economies versus uh, uh, developing economies. So uh, keeping that in mind, all the innovations which will, which will have those, uh, uh, those, those parameters uh, who have basically uh, taken care of those parameters, those products are going to be a very big success. Uh, and let me warn you also on that, uh, in terms like uh, India is not expecting things to be imported from some other country. Uh, the, the belief is that uh, we, we want to be a manufacturing hub as our Prime Minister is also basically gearing up for that. Uh, make in India, Made in India, all these campaigns are definitely creating a right uh, atmosphere for uh, entrepreneurs like us to basically keep working 
and uh, keep developing products for India. Uh, so uh, I feel I'm very much satisfied uh, with the way the things are working out basically, uh, and I think there's a huge potential. Uh, which sector will take the lead? Uh, difficult to say. The the transport sector is there, health sector is there, uh, uh, remote medicines, uh, remote uh, sensing, all those things. Basically, the, every sector is having a huge potential. Smart cities, again, very huge potential. But what we should not forget is that 99% of the Indians stay in uh, old houses, basically. So they don't want to change their uh, places. Uh, we are not like Western culture where basically we change our houses so often kind of thing. So where my grandfather was staying, I, I used to, my father used to stay in that house and I am also staying in the same house. So we need to think on those lines that people don't have to change uh, much of their lifestyle to embrace the IoT. So that is the, uh, I think, the biggest challenge which every uh, manufacturer will be working to make it affordable and don't uh, change too much uh, uh, look and feel of the way the places where they stay. That is. You just mentioned about how positive the industry is about making and manufacturing in India rather than importing. Would that be a manufacturer's perspective or is that also the perspective of an end user? Uh, end users is still uh, uh, as a as a consumer. Uh, people like uh, imported stuff, uh, so, but again then there is a perception about another country basically where people think that the, the quality is compromised. It is not that the quality which that country produces is low grade. What the traders are importing is of the low grade basically. So having that uh, thing in our mind and basically uh, uh, make in India uh, there are so many companies who are investing now uh, in India to basically start their manufacturing in India. Uh, the consumers will basically take this up uh, because there's a very uh, good sentiment uh, right now as we speak where people would like to have a made in India or a make in India products uh, in their houses. Basically. You are here today at India M2M and IoT Forum. What do you think about the entire platform and how important do you think platforms like these are for the industry at large? So, uh, first of all, let me thank you for uh, making us part of this forum. Uh, the, the discussions and the, uh, the panel members basically are, they are very, very energetic. Uh, the, the discussions that are happening in the forum are very much relevant in the context of the current where we are and where we want to be. Uh, so this is a very important uh, uh, forum and I would say that they, these kind of forums should be held very frequently because the technology and the, uh, the products are changing very fast. Uh, so uh, having this uh, forum in an, after a an year's time, I think it should be held every six months uh, at least uh, so that uh, whatever changes are coming, the laws, the drafts and the white papers should be released at the uh, at a very regular frequency basically rather than waiting for one full year to basically take stock of the things, what has happened, what was promised, what is going to be there. So I feel the frequency of the forum has to be uh, speeded up and uh, I am loving the, the forum. The gentry over here is very much uh, uh, in, into the M2M and IoT. Uh, and uh, I would like to uh, say uh, that thankful to the organizers that they have invited very select people which are very much focused on M2M. Uh, otherwise, uh, like in a typical exposition, you get a lot of people but then they are not so serious about or they are just listeners basically. So we, we see a lot of people contributing to this forum. That's a very positive sign. Right. Right. Thank you very much for your Thank time you. and we look forward to it. Thank you very much Mr. Singh and we look forward to receiving you at India M2M and Audi Forum 2016. Thank you. Thank you.